All right, let's continue diving into championship weekend. And over the last couple of weeks, I've talked a little bit about attacking the San Francisco 49er defense and using kind of empty sets to do it. Um, I don't know if anybody's really taken advantage of that the way that I envision in my mind, but uh, could be a good matchup this weekend with Philadelphia because Philadelphia is one of the teams that run empty sets more than most teams in the National Football League. They're pretty successful with it. Got some specific things they do out of it. So let's flip this and let's take a look at Philly, uh, their empty sets, what they do, uh, maybe how could they can attack the 49ers with this, but also from the same standpoint, how the 49ers can look at their empty sets and, and do what they do defensively and, and have some tells with, uh, with what Philadelphia does. So this is what I love to do. I love to watch the film. I love to dive in. I love to see what the tendencies of different teams are and then play it out in my mind as this is what I would do if I was on defense to stop this. This is what I do on offense if I'm attacking this defense. And so it's fun as we get to this time of year with these great teams that don't have a lot of weaknesses. How do you attack them? Um, you know, how can you exploit certain things or how do you have to make sure that you play to be aware of certain things that the other team does well? So let's dive into the tape on the Philadelphia empty sets. All right, so here we go. Empty sets. So when you get into these empty sets, you know, one of the big things is always trying to figure out who's where. Okay, so uh, they love to put Devonte Smith in the slot. Okay, and a lot of times you try to figure out where A.J. Brown is in accordance to that. So here, A.J. Brown is on this side. And then they've got their running back up top. And then another wide receiver down here. Okay. So as we play this, um, what I want you to see is favorite concept for the Eagles out of this particular look is running Devontae Smith on a choice route. In, out, hook. He gets the choice to do what he wants. Okay, if they have a running back outside of him, then that running back usually just runs a go route. If they put a wide receiver outside of him, they run a comeback usually. So now if Jalen Smith goes over, Jalen Smith, Jalen Hurts goes over to this side and the underneath linebacker grabs the choice, he can work over the top to the comeback, all right? So that's what they like to do. Just keep an eye on that bottom side, and here's what it is, right? He's going up, he's setting it, he's looking inside, seeing a body inside, so he's either gonna hook, feels like he's got leverage on the defender over the top of him, so he's going to break out right here. Boom. Nice job attacking with pressure. That's going to be key for the 49ers when they get into these empty sets. Can they pressure Jalen Hurts and force him to have to get the ball out of his hands quick. That's the one area that he still needs to work, in my opinion, but does a great job right here. Recognize, boom, ball's out of his hands, and he's getting that nice completion. On the other side, they like to run a few different concepts, but one of them is a hitch here, a hitch, or some kind of return there, and then an in over the top. All right, so those are the, that's the favorite play right there of the Eagles. So they work up to the top, Right, we can possibly get a high low right here off of our hook and our in, and we're rocking and rolling. All right, so that's something that you got to prepare for. You got to prepare for Devontae Smith in the slot. Okay, again, AJ Brown down here. Now they got a tight end outside of Devontae, but you'll see right here what do we got? All right, tight end running back. I'm going to clear this out. Got Devontae running the choice route again, man to man, boom. Beats him inside, that's where the big plays are. We got our completion right there. Nice little game, what do we have on the other side? We've got the hitch, we've got the hook, and we've got the end. So it's their favorite play that they run out of this, and it's can you cover Devontae Smith, and if you do, then we work back accordingly. Okay, so here we go again, tight end down here. Okay, the running back out here. Devontae's actually outside, but he's going to motion in to become the inside position. And then AJ Brown once again in that number two spot to the strong side. So we come down, what are we gonna run? We're gonna clear out with the tight end. We're gonna run the choice route here. 
with Devontae. What are we going to run up top? Hitch, hook, in. Same concept. See it over and over again. Now we're reading it, breaking inside. Nice job. Again, pressure coming. Good job by Jalen here, again, to get the ball out of his hands and beat the blitz. That's going to be the chess match that we're going to see over and over again. All right, here we are down in the red zone. Running back. Okay, now two receivers in a tight end to the bottom. Watching up top, what do we got? Yeah, we got the choice. Choice, nice job. He wins. Boom, makes a move. Gets into the end zone. Going to be a great matchup to watch. Here's a little change up on the other side. They run the hook. They run the hook. Sometimes this guy can move one way or the other. And then they run the inside fade here. So it's a little change up. Instead of always running the in there, they'll change it up. If they think they're going to get man-to-man, -man, run the inside fade. So that becomes an option as well. Nice job blocking it up with five. Getting the ball out quick. Devontae can win quick. Separation and a little run after the catch. Okay, so here we go again, right? Move the running back out here. Now what I want you to watch is, look who we got down here. All right, look who we got. We got both the AJ and Devontae Smith. Okay, that to me, when I was watching these, that's a little bit of a tell, because with those other guys, this outside guy was just a clear out guy. When AJ's there, it's not a clear out guy. Now this is where they can get into some concepts down here where it's not just a choice route by Devonte. okay as i say that this one is a choice route so with the receiver what are they going to do they're going to run the choice with the comeback and we've got our options here but i like this little change up on the front side okay so they were doing those basic concepts we showed here in this last game what they did is they created a rub here for Dallas Goddard. So that's why I put it on there. Still got the choice to the backside, but they created this little rub to the front side for that man-to-man -man look. Right there, the rub, boom, get it out. Dallas makes a great catch, gets into the end zone. You got your choice on the backside. Devontae wins inside. They're going to double him right here. So if Jalen stayed to this side, now you work up over the top to that comeback. He decided to go to the other side because he knew it was tight man-to-man -man coverage. Let's go get that rub. Let's create it right here. I can get the ball out of my hands quick. Put my big tight end in space. Let him go get me a touchdown. All right, here we go again. AJ, Devontae, together on the top. Okay, so now we change up our concepts a little bit. No longer is it a choice. Boom. Now we're going to run the double slants over here. Gives us an opportunity against the cover two team. If they want to play some kind of two shell, now we can get some concepts going on with our two Wide receivers, okay? On the bottom side, you see it again. Hook, inside fade, hitch. What you're gonna see over and over again, but they can change up the backside when they put those two guys, two best route runners, on the same side. Here's another one, we got a bunch empty. We got our two guys up top, all right? So now, almost looks like a choice route. We're gonna come off and hook, then we're gonna wrap AJ over the top. So we get another concept over to that side. Work that guy backside. He's jumping the choice. Now we get up over the top to AJ. Boom. Now we're going. Let him go make a move and get us a big play on the bottom side. Okay, we're just running really a hook in double seams over to this side to clear it out for that concept backside. Creating space, getting opportunities using our guys in different ways to create those opportunities. Here we go again. Here's our two guys down below. Running back outside up top. So now what do we got? Now we're running double hooks over here. Hook, come back. So now if I wanna come over to that side, right? Working this defender right here, boom. Boom, work those two guys. For down here, probably throwing it inside. Okay. He just stays there a little bit more patient, sees it right there. I think he's got a pocket to make that throw to the inside. What do we have up top? Inside fade, hitch, hook, same stuff. Also something that Jalen feels really comfortable in empty, taking off and running because a lot of space to be created. Has a throw down here, doesn't take it, leads to a sack fumble in that particular situation. 
Okay, so we're motioning over. AJ and Devontae over here. Get tight man to man. So now we can change it up. Now we're gonna run the hitch with the inside fade. Hook, hitch, inside fade. Same looks, same stuff. They just change it up down here when they've got two receivers. Someone that went for a big touchdown against the Giants right there. They can change it up when they've got AJ and Devontae on the same side of the field. All right, now we get down into the red zone. Get down into the red zone. Okay, there's some different options here. Okay, but here's another one. Okay, Devontae and AJ. They're going to run what we call the 72 combination. Here, two with the seven. So they get man to man. They've got their options up on the top. Same concept we've seen. Now we throw it down at the bottom and we can really work it with those two wide receivers. Don't really know why they don't do that more often and keep both of those guys together. It's usually AJ on the other side of Devontae, but keep those two guys together. You can do anything you want in your playbook and you keep it a little simpler over to this side because your running back's out there, but you can still do some different things to the front side, but you really want to work your two best receivers and put a lot of pressure on the defense as they have on all of these different concepts. Okay, so here's another thing that they like to do. Okay, so we got the running back outside of Devontae on the backside. Now they're gonna motion him back and they're gonna turn this into a four strong. Okay, to turn it into a four strong, their favorite combination is running a pivot back here. So start inside like he's gonna work to the four receiver side, he pivots back, and then they get some shots up over the top. So this is kind of their favorite concept when they motion to that four strong. Here it is, right? We got right here. He jumps it, may come over the top, and then we're usually working some sort of seams from there. So there it is, boom. One on one, good route runner, get him going inside, bounce it back to the outside. Nice little one on one completion they get to the backside of the four strong. Here we go again, same thing. The motion, right? One on one backside, got the seams going, bang. Get it out to him once again, okay? It wasn't just a game plan against Pittsburgh. Boom, there it is backside. Same concept, so you're gonna see these same things over and over again from them. Change it up when they put AJ and Devontae together again, but just different things that pop out to me, okay? Here we go, all right? So another thing that they like to do when they get into the empty sets. This guy right here becoming a run threat, all right? So they always like to have some sort of pass option off of it. So they can read one of these guys. If this guy moves out to the four strong, then I can tuck it and run it. So you see it right there, there's the bubble. He could take it right there. He's watching this guy right there. That guy moves. Now I get a lead blocker up on the next guy and we've got the numbers and that's where Jalen Hurts becomes so dangerous. His ability to make guys miss and be strong running through tackles. All right, so here we go again. We've got motion of the four strong. Okay, so we've seen the pivot backside. We've seen the bubble. There's the bubble now to AJ if they want it. Just seeing this guy, does he widen enough? Probably could have thrown it if he wants to. He's got great numbers over there, but he's gonna keep it right here. See what they do? They drop Kelsey, and then Kelsey will pull around and be a puller, a lead guy for his quarterback. There it is. Boom, go hit it. Really good in those situations. So when they get into the empty, that's a definite threat. Every time they're in an empty set is that quarterback draw. There it is again, quarterback run. This is an interesting one. It almost looks like a pass because they're running all their same concepts. Clear out here, hook, inside. And it's almost like Jalen saw it and just said, ah, there's an opening, I'm gonna take it. Runs through right there, makes the guy miss, picks up a nice little seven yards. But you'll see this a lot in that empty set with pass options on the outside. It's almost like he's got the ability to decide what he wants to do. So here we go to an empty, same thing. I got the bubble screen to the top if I want it. I've got the quick out to the bottom if I want it. So he's got the ability on all of these to throw, so RPOs, and to run. Kelsey, once again, up on the stack linebacker. Now we're into the secondary and we're getting a huge play running the football out of those empty sets with opportunities to take advantage of it if you don't adjust to it. 
when we move guys. Here we go. Once again, now he sees the pressure over here, right? So they're leaving nobody back here. Sees the pressure, he just goes away from the pressure, recognizes it. Again, hard to tell with these guys because everybody was like pass setting on this one. So it's hard to tell if that was a design quarterback run or not, but he sees it, he takes it, and that is something that he'll do if he feels like he's got a window there and everybody's out of the box. Here's another one. So he's reading, right? He's popping out. Could have easily thrown this right here for a touchdown if he wanted it. Got the quick out right here, trying to read and get these linebackers to play soft and then take off. Maybe should have thrown this one as six guys stayed in the box, but nonetheless, still get a five yard gain, still set them up inside the one yard line. All right, just to keep you honest, I wanted to show you this one. Oh, quarterback draw, so huge down here. They just bluff, and now they're gonna do the jump pass. The quarterback draw, jump pass, just to keep those safeties and linebackers honest. Just so you know, we've got this in our playbook. Got an athletic quarterback that can do these things if we need to keep you guys off balance. All right, here we go. Motion in across. All right, so this to me is going to be the key. See the Giants playing twice a year. They get a good feel for this. And what they're going to do is they're always going to try to force the issue. See, they've got six guys up on the line of scrimmage and they're going to try to force a free runner, force a free runner and make Jalen Hurts throw it hot and get it out quick. They actually bounced a couple guys out on the backside, but they're going to force the issue. That to me is what you have to do because there's so many options, so many things they do. Plus he is such a run threat when he spreads you out like this. You gotta force the issue and force him to get the ball out of his hands, recognize that and make the perfect throw. Here you see him loaded up again, loaded up again. There it is, All right? Loaded up. This is the freak runner. They're gonna bounce out. Gonna make Jalen think quick. Gotta get it out, nice job right there. Right, recognizing it, but this to me has got to be the goal of the 49ers. You guys know, looked at it a little bit last week. They love to walk guys up and force these issues. It's going to be key. We saw it last week. Fred Warner steps up. Then he's so good at bouncing back out of here. So the guy that the Giants have bounced out of here, not quite as good. He runs past that hook, gives Jalen an easy throw. But these are the cat and mouse parts of this game, especially when they're in empty sets. All right, so some fun stuff right there. And it's not overcomplicated. They run a lot of the same stuff over and over again, but they say to our, themselves, hey, we've got matchup problems. Cover Devontae Smith in the slot, especially if you've got a linebacker on him. You want to go to man? We've got some good options against man, and we've always got that quarterback in the backfield with space that has the ability to take off and run. If you want to spread it out and cover all those guys, and we've got the opportunities to run the football and make big plays as you saw there. It's not just four or five yards. He's got the ability to make the big play. So that is something that I've said for a couple weeks that I think you can spread San Francisco's defense out. You can simplify them a little bit and there's some ways to attack them. The linebackers get out of the box. They want to spread a little bit. Now are they able to do that with Jalen Hurts? They stay a little tighter to the box. Now it leaves space on the outside with something that the Eagles do really, really well. The pressure packages. San Francisco does a great job with mugging those guys, running them out, mugging those guys and bringing different twists. So that will be a fun thing to watch in this matchup uh, in the first game on Sunday is how much empty does, do the Eagles get into? Because it's something that they've done a lot this year. In those empty sets, they've thrown the ball to Devontae Smith 45% of the time. 45% of the time. So almost half the time they get into empty, the ball goes to Devontae Smith. Love him on those choice routes. So something to look forward to. And if they get into empty a lot, what do the 49ers do? Do they go man and bring pressure? Do they sit back in their zones? Are they able to cover it? Does the quarterback uh, draw come into play, especially in the red zone? Love to watch it down there where they make Jalen Hurts a threat even more so with his legs. So there you go. little preview of that great defense against the great offense in Philly and what may come up. Some things that you may see on Sunday that you look back and go, oh, there it is. That's what Kurt said. There's the pressure. Oh, there it is. Devontae Smith in the empty sets. Just things to keep an eye on. I like to give you guys a little bit of fodder for when you watch the game that, uh, that you go into it going, hey, we're, this is what I'm looking for if 
a certain team does this. So enjoy the games. Can't wait to watch them as well. It's going to be a great weekend, and uh, we'll see you back here on Study Ball for the next one.